That's one of my favorite stories uh, of Susan's. I've been reading about this almost my entire academic career. The fact, what makes it unique, what makes her so outstanding is that she's the one who experienced this, right? She was the one who studied parapsychology right through the 70s all the way until now in, in looking at these very claims. She's the one that had this experience and changed her opinion about these experiences. So, and imagine, I mean, being in that sort of scenario, having this extremely vivid um, out-of-body experience, something that you couldn't possibly explain using anything that you have available to you. And she did experiment after experiment after experiment, 20 some experiments as part of this, as part of her degree to investigate these things. And all of them just kept coming up empty. And she's amazing. I mean, imagine what it would take to fundamentally change your worldview about something as profound, something as vivid as that experience. It's, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal. Yeah, and I think Susan's in a unique position because sure, there are many scientists out there who could have come up with a reasonable experiment to test these claims, but she was intimately familiar with this area. I mean, she, she lived it and breathed it. She talks about the tarot cards. And so she was able to set up an experiment that had scientific rigor and came up with things that, that you and I would never have imagined. The, the combination that the person had to guess in baking the apple crumble uh, really really puts her in a unique position to test these claims. And there are several others like this. There are actually former uh, magicians, or, or magicians that spend a lot of their time revealing some of the, the tricks, the secrets behind things like magic and parapsychology. Uh, there's one James Randi, or his stage name is The Amazing Randi. Darren Brown is another, and Penn and Teller. Now, these guys, uh, uh, are again in a unique position to test these claims because they live and breathe this stuff. Now I spoke to a, another former magician, or he might still be a ma magician, he uh, might practice some of these things every now and then. He's actually now a professor of psychology. And again, we traveled to, uh, uh, to Edinburgh to chat to Richard Wiseman about uh, some of the ways that he tries to tackle paranormal claims. Mm -hmm.